Bing, 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 Hello, welcome to Bean Doodling. I'm your host, Kara Bean, and today we are going to doodle birds, okay? So I want you to get some paper, figure out what you're going to draw with today. I'm going to be using my Sharpie. I'm going to be warming it up, and I'm going to be drawing some birds, and I want you to draw some birds with me. Um, so pause the video, go get your art supplies, and let's get started. Okay, so first off, um, a fun thing to think about when you're doodling birds is that birds come from eggs. You see my egg here? Eggs. Right? And so that shape, the shape of an egg is actually really helpful to think about when we're doodling birds. So as a warm up today, I think we should draw a variety of just eggs all over our page. Okay, so let's get started on that whole bunch of warm up egg shapes. So you can see all these just simple egg shapes and just quick rounded forms. And now I get to noodle them into becoming birds. And these are just fun cartoony birds. They don't have to be um, anything too fancy. And I'm not even going to look at reference pictures to think of specific kinds of birds. I'm just going to see what comes out of my head. So let me pick one. I'm going to start um, with this one here, a nice big round bird. And the parts of the bird I'm going to think about is a head, wings, a tail, a beak, that sort of thing. So let's say I'm going to add maybe another rounded form on the top of it, okay? And then I can put a little beak, two triangles like that. Maybe I'll put a circle for an eye. Okay, starting to look more like a bird. The wing can be like... Kind of somewhere between a triangle and a circle, right? And then a tail can be just a little, like a W at the bottom. And then the legs can be just two sticks that come down and maybe it's, um, maybe it's going on a branch, right? So I can, I can make the toes go in front, like that. And then I have a bird. Um, let's keep going. So what's kind of fun is thinking about um, like a swan, a swan, like let's say this one up here is going to be a swan. So a swan can um, start as an egg, but then you can think of the letter S and kind of put an S on the end of your egg and then put a circle on it. And then maybe scoop up the tail. And then you have a swan. Um, let's do some more birds. So maybe we put um, a bigger head on this one and a really big long beak. Tail. And feet. All right, more birds. Let's see. This one, maybe a little beak. I'm going to give it a really big eye. Um, a wing, kind of like a chicken bird there, that one. Um, and here we go. Here's one over here. We will give it a big long beak. And the fun thing about birds is they can have tufts of feathers. They can have big bodies or little bodies. This one kind of reminds me more of a seagull or something. All right, let's keep going. And the tails on this bird, the tail can go up or the tail can go down. Maybe the wing goes up this way. Um, you can add your imagination, like with my swan, I can come back and add water, maybe it's in the water. Um, let's do like maybe a hummingbird. So a hummingbird would have a really long 
beak, and it would be going really fast. And then it's a little tiny, tiny bird, so I'm even going to shave off some of the egg. And maybe it's going inside of a flower. Right. I got two more. Maybe this one could be like a woodpecker. Maybe it's going to peck into a tree. So as you can see, the idea is start, when you start doodling birds, you start the same way a bird is made. You start with the egg. If you have the egg form, then you can add, you know, more details and elements that make it, make your bird into a different kind of bird. But if, if you start with the egg, you can then um, you can use your imagination and do all kinds of things, um, just creating birds starting with an egg. And I'll do one more to finish it off. My favorite kind of bird, starting with my egg, is going to be an owl. So what I like about owls is they have big eyes that are far apart. Like that. They have um, little beaks. Well, they seem little because there's a lot of feathers around. They can have tufts. There's all different kinds of flower, um, owls, but this kind that I'm making has tufts of sort of eyebrow hair. Two big wings on the side, just like forms like that. And maybe we'll make like a stick branch. Big claws that sit on top of the branch. Maybe some feathers and a nice long tail that comes behind. Okay, and there's my owl. So you can see um, what I might do is if I don't like my first page, I'll just do another page and another page and I just keep practicing. But again, just always starting with that simple egg form to kind of begin with, and just a place to start, which is the important thing in a drawing. Where do I start? Start with an egg. Okay, so give it a shot and then once you like your page of birds, get out some colors and color them in and see what happens when you start coloring. So uh, that's today's lesson is just draw a bunch of birds and I hope it makes you remember it's not about the drawing, it's how you feel after you draw and I hope that it made you feel relaxed. And these are um, kind of a fun way to think about springtime too. So keep doodling and thanks for drawing with me today. One more thing before we go, I wanted to introduce you to one more special guest, my mom, Maureen, and I've given her a challenge to paint one bird a day until we're done being stuck inside in this quarantine. So, so far, um, she, I was going to have her show you her beautiful paintings of birds. They're watercolor paintings because she's a watercolor artist. So, why don't you show the people what Thank you've you, made yeah. so far. All right, uh, this was Kara's challenge, and most of the birds are birds in my neighborhood. And uh, this was day one, the red-winged blackbird, which is considered a first sign of spring. This is a Baltimore Oreo who hasn't arrived yet, but he should be getting here very soon. I'll put out the grape jelly for him. This one is a tufted titmouse, and that is... That's here all the time. Oh, I think I should let you do um, This is an eastern bluebird, which is a rare sighting, but always a welcome sighting. This is a bluebird, I mean, a blue jay, and they're very common here. They're frequent visitors. And uh, that's it. That's it. Yeah, so that's yeah. how many days she's been doing it, but she's going to keep on doing it. And what, what's your advice for people um, about making art? Is that just, a good idea? Yes. Uh, just do it. You know, play around with it. Don't expect perfection. And uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. If you like to do it, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take care. Bye-bye.